Good morning. This is Mike uh, Solomon coming to you from Anthem Air Conditioning, Heating and Plumbing. Today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of a heat pump versus a traditional standard HVAC system. Uh, the, the heat pumps are a great system. Uh, we're installing quite a few of them, changing out furnaces and moving towards the heat pump systems, uh, both because the technology has caught up and is super efficient. Uh, Cost-wise, it's right in there where we want to be. And the government uh, incentives to change to a heat pump are uh, increasing. So um, the first, the pros on a heat pump are energy efficiency. So heat pumps uh, are known to use less electricity. Uh, they're very efficient systems. Uh, in the summertime, they're just like an, a traditional air conditioner system. Uh, it cools your home using the same technology, the refrigerant and compressor technology. And then in the, in the winter time, when you're heating your home, uh, instead of using a furnace system, it actually uses the exact same air conditioning technology just in reverse to heat your home. So with a furnace, you have a flue pipe that actually goes up in through your home and exhausts uh, carbon monoxide and heat outside of your home. So that flue pipe, it, it gets very hot. Uh, if you think about it, you're paying to heat that flue pipe but it's not heating your home. We're sending a lot of that heat outside of your house while a heat pump actually uses every bit of heat that it produces, it sends into your home through the duct systems. So heat systems, I would consider a 100% efficient technology for heating because they actually heat your home with every bit of uh, electricity used goes to heating your home that ends up in your homes and duct systems. So they're also healthier and safer to operate. I mentioned the, the, the carbon monoxide. So you have a combustion appliance in your house. Uh, that's where it takes gas or propane. It burns that propane to create heat and that burning creates carbon monoxide. It's a deadly gas. People die from it every single year here in America. And to get a carbon producing, uh, carbon monoxide producing appliance out of your home uh, is a really good thing to do. So um, it's, it's healthier for the environment, but it's healthier and safer for you. There's no chance with a heat pump of having carbon monoxide enter your home and having that deadly gas in your house. So uh, lower operating costs um, due to the high efficiency of a heat pump, um, it leads to a lower monthly cost. Um, we do have, you're using heat, uh, electricity to heat in the winter time, but with the efficiency improvement, it should offset. And then you don't have a gas bill to pay either. When we live out here in, in Riverside in the Southern California, we have a very mild weather out here. Uh, the heat pump is the ideal air conditioner system and heater system for your home in mild climates out here. And when you uh, add uh, energy efficiency production like solar to your home or business, the heat pump becomes a no brainer. It's a, it works hand in hand because the, the electricity you produce is actually used to heat your home. So if you have solar on your home or are thinking about going solar, uh, look at a heat pump if you're uh, planning to change out your air conditioner system because that is the way you're gonna wanna go. Um, and then it has a longer lifespan. So the heat pumps traditionally, if well-maintained, have a 15 to 20 year lifespan. You can get a, a traditional standard furnace system to, to last that long also, but remember, as you're burning all that fuel, uh, when you light things on fire, they tend to deteriorate a lot faster. So you have a heat exchanger in there that can, can have problems. You have a lot of uh, things because of the carbon monoxide, because of the intense heat from a furnace that can and will cause a furnace to deteriorate or uh, fail quicker than a heat pump. So uh, the noise level. So a noise level in a heat pump is uh, actually quieter. They used to be loud, 
But now the technology has got to the point where they're actually quieter than a lot of furnaces. In the Riverside area, Riverside, California, we have to use something called a low NOx uh, air, to, air conditioner. So ultra low NOx is what it's called. And it basically is trying, they're trying to make the furnace uh, more efficient by regulating the gas uh, better. And by doing that, they actually cause the system to sound like a, a small jet plane taking off a lot of times. So inside your home, it has that, that whooshing sound of a plane or something like that taking off, uh, which a lot of customers of ours have, have complained about, but the manufacturers have just said that's part of the ultra low NOx system and there's nothing that can be done about it. The uh, heat pump systems actually are pretty quiet. They're just an air handler inside your house. They're an air handler and a coil, similar to your air conditioner system in your winter time, you have the same technology doing that. So uh, same type of noise level in the summertime and winter time. And then we have the initial costs of a heat pump. So uh, the price used to be more expensive for a heat pump. Because of the incentives that the government has put down on these things, they've come down. They've used a stick and a carrot approach to these. Uh, the stick approach is that yeah. gas furnaces actually have an extra tax uh, with it called a mitigation fee that uh, we've had to pay anytime we wanted to purchase a furnace. So that added to the cost of the furnace. We also have the uh, special equipment, the ultra low NOx systems, which is added to the cost of the furnace. And the heat pumps have incentives to bring down that cost. Uh, so the cost alone has come down, but then there's also government incentives. Right now there's the government incentive. I think you can get up to $2,000 uh, in a tax credit back from the government to change out your system to a heat pump. And then you also have a uh, uh, local Imperial Irrigation District, that's one of our utilities out here, has a credit also on changing to a heat pump where they say you can get up to $4,000. Traditionally, most systems will qualify probably up to about $500 for the larger ton systems and a little bit less. So I'd say up to $500, even though they advertise up to $2,000. Uh, I don't see a system out there that qualifies for, for that qualification. But in nonetheless, with the uh, government rebate, the utility rebate, the cost of the system, it, it comes tr uh, pretty far down in cost. So those are the pros of the heat pumps. Some of the cons of the heat pump are the performance in extreme cold. Uh, when you go to like our mountain areas, Big Bear, Idlewild, things like that, the heat pump can still work. It's just going to lose some efficiency uh, up there. So it's not going to be as efficient as it is in our lower desert where, and riverside area where we have really mild weather. We don't get below freezing or anything like that uh, in here. And then... Uh, a lot of times we need to add auxiliary heat to a heat pump system in areas that have extreme weather, extreme uh, cold weather, because we need to actually add some, some elements that will help uh, the system not freeze over. So the system not freeze over and sometimes to add additional heat into the home to maintain the a comfortable temperature in your home. So these auxiliary heats, uh, they do need a 220 amp uh, outlet uh, to do that. So if you're changing from a furnace, which uses a traditional 110 outlet uh, to a heat pump, we may need to change and put in that 220 amp outlet, which does add a little bit of cost to installing the system. Uh, but because we're down here, most of the time we don't need to do that. And they are coming out with and have come out with uh, 110 amp heat pumps. So we don't need to do any electrical changes on quite a few of the homes that we're installing these on. We can just plug them straight into the outlet that's provided for the furnace and it works just fine. Uh, on occasion, we do need to run extra electrical up there for the 220. Um, the maintenance requirements are about the same for a heat pump versus a furnace. 
except we're not doing the furnace uh, inspection. Uh, we're doing basically a inspection on your condenser outside, that's the outside box, uh, two times a year. And then the inside area where your furnace uh, is, we're, that's called an air handler and a heat pump, and we're doing an air handler inspection and cleaning and maintenance. So the, uh, the cost through Anthem, we don't charge any difference between a furnace and a heat pump, but uh, there is a difference in the maintenance that we do. Uh, we're basically doing a, a system maintenance on the air conditioner slash heat pump twice a year instead of in the spring doing an air conditioning maintenance and in the fall doing a furnace maintenance. Uh, the installation considerations. Um, so I talked about they may have some modifications, mostly that 220. We can come out there, take a look at what uh, your home needs and make a determination whether or not we need to modify anything in your home, including running that extra power for the heat pump. But traditionally we don't. And the new systems that are coming out, they're setting them up so that they're, they're easy to maintain, uh, no additional uh, installation modifications needed. And we can normally replace the traditional heat uh, air conditioner system with a heat pump uh, without anything that, that really goes in there. One complaint we do get about heat pumps, and that's because people are used to the feel of the heat that comes out during a uh, standard air conditioner system, is it heats differently. So a heat pump does heat differently because a traditional air conditioner system or furnace will actually heat the air to about 140 to 170 degrees uh, and then push the air through a heat exchanger to send into your home. So through that heat exchanger, uh, it'll heat the air to about 140, 170 degrees. And when you put your hand up to that vent, it's hot. It's hot air that's being pushed into your house. People are used to that hot air. Uh, air conditioning systems or heat pump systems, when, we, when they heat your home, they actually change the temperature going into the system to the temperature going out of the system by about 20 degrees. Same thing that it does in your air conditioner system uh, when you're cooling your home, whatever air is in your home, let's hypothetically say we're gonna heat our home. We want our house to heat up to uh, 78 degrees, but inside our home, it's winter time and we've had our air conditioner off. And let's say that inside our home, it's, uh, 60 degrees. So when that air goes into our, our system, it's going to push about 80 degree air out of those vents as opposed to 140 to 170 degree air. So it's going to push 80 degree out of those vents and try to mix that air to start to raise that temperature in that house. Uh, as the temperature starts to rise to let's say uh, uh, 72 degrees, it'll go up to 80. Uh, it'll go up to like 92 degrees or so. So it's going to start to go up and mix that air, but it's not that traditional really hot air that comes out of the vents that you're used to. And that's probably a good thing because it doesn't dry out your furniture, your hardwoods, things like that in your home. So those are the pros and the cons to go to a, a uh, heat pump system. I'm a big fan of it. I've changed all my furnaces out in my house to heat pump systems. Uh, the cost of the heat pump system is equal to or less than a traditional air conditioner system. I think we our heat pump systems are actually about $500 to $800 less than our traditional air conditioner systems. Uh, you have incentives on top of it. You have the government uh, tax credit incentive. You have your local utility uh, incentives on top of that. Uh, you're getting rid of a combustion appliance in your house. Uh, less operating costs, especially here in our desert area where we don't get to freezing or anything like that. Uh, so it's a great technology for somebody to consider who wants to change their air conditioner system, more environmentally friendly, uh, less cost to operate, maintain, etc. So um, give us a call at Anthem. We'd love to, to show you the difference between the heat pump and the furnace. Uh, check out your home and make sure that, that you're a great candidate for the heat pump systems. 
if that's a way you want to go and help explain the differences, the pros and benefits personally to you so that you know the best. Give us a call, Anthem Air Conditioning, and we'll talk to you soon.